everybody, it's Ellie from the future. Um, I am going to be posting my really random and clearly I was having a rough time uh, in this weekly vlog. So bear with me. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel if you want some more random and weird content in addition to my weight loss content and other miscellaneous things about my life. So subscribe and like, and I appreciate it, and we'll see ya in the vlog. Good morning, it is Thursday, January 26th, and this is gonna be my first vlog. Um, I'm gonna do a weekly vlog. My hair is crazy. I have been up since two o'clock in the morning because my lovely daughter is going through a sleep regression four months sleep regression so i am struggling a little bit this morning i'm having a cup of coffee typically i only have one cup of coffee a day but today might be the day that i have two because i am completely exhausted <laughs> Um, today is my husband's birthday and when we started this diet, we made some rules. The first rule was we were going an entire, well, we were going to go an entire month and then we just decided to go to his birthday, which is basically a whole month of following this diet and the rules that we implemented and not drinking until his birthday and then moving forward, I mean, we weren't really big drinkers to begin with. We would drink just on the weekends, but, <clears throat> uh, um, moving forward, we decided that we're just going to drink once a month while we're losing weight. So yeah. So now it's basically on friends. We have really good friends, birthdays in February, March, and then my dad's birthday is in April. And then my brother-in-law's birthday is in May. But it, anyway, we have lots going on <laughs> between now and then. So anyway, this is my morning. I'm going to sit here and wake up for a little bit. I'll see you later. I am so excited because today is our cheat day. And it's my husband's birthday. And I just dropped my son off at school. And I'm going to enjoy... Celsius. So before starting this diet, I <clears throat> would drink a ton of caffeine. Like we're talking half a pot of coffee plus one of these bad boys every day. Like that is how I functioned. That was my survival level. That's what I did. And since starting this new way of eating, one of the things was you can't have caffeine. Well, I would get pounding migraines <laughs> if I didn't have caffeine. So I've limited it to just one cup of coffee a day and I have to use um, like animal based products in it so I couldn't use my fancy creamers so I just um, would use like half and half or heavy cream and honey to sweeten my coffee so I haven't had one of these the last time I had a Celsius was on New Year's Eve so it's been almost a full month since I've had a Celsius also not sponsored obviously I'm a very small channel. There's no way I have any sponsorships yet, but um, you guys asked for some vlogs, so I will give you what you want. I also enjoy vlogging. <clears throat> That's some of my favorite channels are people's just like vlogs of their day, but let's take a drink. Oh, that is like heaven. Oh, it's so good. Oh. Mm. I have a busy day today. <clears throat> As I stated before, it's my husband's birthday. So I'm going into my office today to get a little bit of work done. And then <clears throat> um, I have to clean my office today. Uh, if you don't know, I do real estate for a living. And I have some stuff I need to take care of. I have um, a transaction in process right now. Where I live, it's always really slow in the wintertime. And so I kind of like get my like marketing stuff and like how I'm gonna brand everything for the upcoming year done um, in the winter so it's all ready to roll out by March 1st although this year I'm starting my letter series 
and that starts next month. So I have to crank out a couple more of those to add to um, like my letter series or whatever. So my daughter's back there. I have both my girls with me today. We're gonna go and get some stuff done. So anyway, cheers. Mm. I'll see you later. I'm a sweaty mess. And <laughs> I just finished half of my cleaning of my office. There's so much wood in here, as you can see. <laughs> um, I Murphy oiled everything and now getting ready to get some real estate stuff done. So taking a brief intermission, gonna finish this Celsius. Mm. And I need to drink my huge tumbler of water. I'm kind of bummed because my son filled up my water for me today and he put ice in it and I don't know about you guys but I don't really like ice in my water um I like it cold like more cool oh I thought I had a thumb on my computer anyway I like it more cool than like freezing cold when I was pregnant with my daughter though all I wanted was ice water and like crushed ice so I could chomp on it but ever since I had her I have no desire to have a ice water anymore. So anyway, I'm gonna get some work done and I'll see you later. To self, I need to do Murphy's oil on all of my wood in my office more often because that's disgusting. <laughs> Oops. Everything is a little washed out and I'm cleaning my house so it's a little messy, but I have my steak and this is the first thing I've eaten all day today. I've been so busy with work and my kids and I just am now being able to sit down and eat except for a string cheese. I did have a string cheese earlier so I guess that kind of counts but I'm really excited. I came up with a bunch of new concepts of like what kind of videos I want to film and um, I'm pretty excited to start vlogging. I think it'll be interesting. Hopefully you can hear me. I have no idea if you're gonna be able to hear me because I have my earbud in and I just realized that. So I'm eating, I think it's a rib steak. I'm not really sure. We buy our meat by, well not always, but we were buying our meat by the quarter. Um, I know a local rancher and he, would sell us his meat by the quarter. Um, I think the hardest part about this diet is not being able to have any sauce. I think I talked about that before. That sauces, mm. I love sauces so much and it's so hard to get over that, but oh well, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to go without sauces, but I mean, I've done it almost a month, so you know, what's another like five, six months? My goal is to continue this diet along with using Mangiorno. Um... Until I reach my goal weight. So, anyway, we just got home. From my office. I dropped you. Oh no. My rickety <laughs> tripod, because I don't know where mine is, failed me. Anyway, um, I finished cleaning my office today, and then I did a little bit of real estate stuff. Um, I have one transaction at the moment, and then I have a bunch of listings that are coming up in the spring. I closed our transaction last week, so that was good. And yeah, we're just cruising along, waiting for spring to happen. So I'm hoping it will be busy like it was in 2019. And I'm praying we don't have a crash. So <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna finish my steak, and I'll see you next time. Or I'll see you when I vlog again. <laughs> So today is Monday, uh, January 30th, <laughs> and it's been a long week, and it looks like my clients just got here, so I need to go show some property. 
but to be continued. It has been a very, very chaotic day for me. I feel like in real estate sometimes your day just goes from zero to a hundred and sometimes it feels like you can't get anything done. And I have her with me, which is always a little bit more interesting when you're trying to work, but I had to go show property this morning. I was not able to film my breakfast because I didn't have breakfast, except for an orange. I had an orange this morning to eat. Um, I also got some pretty bummer news about Wagobi, um, or not Wagobi, oh my gosh, Mongiorno. They are stopping um, continuation selling to people unless you have a type two diabetes diagnosis. So even though I'm borderline and insulin resistant, didn't matter. So I'm trying to work out on getting Wagovi and seeing if I can give that a whirl. If not, I'm going to have to move my medication. I know. I'm going to have to move my medication over to Canada and get it from there because they don't care and they do give you that, but you can only get Ozempic from Canada. So it's kind of a mess. I hate the pharmaceutical industry. It reminds me exactly why I left that world because it's such a pain. <laughs> it's such a pain to do anything and to get anything done is so frustrating. I'm just thankful I'm not VA because that is an actual literal nightmare. So anyway, I had to show property and then I had to go check on a house, make sure it didn't freeze because we got to negative temperatures last night. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We got all the way down to, um, in the pine, it was minus 11. And at my house, it was, I don't know, I think zero. It was zero when I woke up. So it was probably like negative two. Very cold for here. And my water line froze to my house, to my fridge. I've never had that happen. I have lived in the same house for 11 years, going on 12 years. And, uh, yeah. I never had anything like that happen before. So <laughs> it's a little frustrating. And then the water lady, <sighs> some people, I just, I can't, I just, I can't with them. When she went out to take this water sample of this house that we have to get a sample on, she's like, I have no water out here. And I said, well, that's weird. I was just out there. Well, where it froze was where the, it connects to be dispersed from the well. Anyway. And I said, well, that's weird. I was just out there. I made sure that there was water pressure. She's like, well, I turned it on. And after like three minutes, and I'm like, why did you let it run for three minutes? It doesn't need to run for three minutes to get a water sample. Literally. It doesn't. Doesn't need to happen. She's like, well, I turned it on. I walked all the way back to my truck, got my samples, and then I came back and there was no water. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. So now I have to call a plumber and get a plumber out there to defrost this house for me. What are you doing? I'm very annoyed. It has just been a total shit show of a day. And on top of that, my son missed the bus. So he missed the bus and then I had to drive him to school. And it was like a whole thing. And usually he doesn't miss the bus. He's usually pretty good about getting to the bus on time. But I don't know what his deal was this morning. But... It was not great. It was not a great day to be at my house. I didn't even wear my wedding ring when I ran out of the door. I always, I, I just, ah, send help. <laughs> it is a crazy day. And I have blogs I have to write. I have three blog posts I need to post because I do that for real estate. And I'm getting ready to relaunch my social medias for real estate. So I'm trying to get my ad campaigning all done and programmed so that way when I launch, Onto Hootsuite, I only have to do it once a month. So that is my day for today. And I guess I'll check in with you later. Okay, so still January 30th. <laughs> um, does anybody else do that thing where you have a lot to do, but you're so overwhelmed that you don't know where to start so you just end up scrolling on TikTok? Because that's what I just did. And now it's all of a sudden uh, 2.53. <laughs> and I have to go home. I have to go get my kid. I have a sign I still need to pick up, which I'm probably not gonna do tonight. I'm gonna do tomorrow. And then when I get home, I have to work out and I still have to figure out what in the hell we're having for dinner because we did our big cook on Saturday or Sunday. God, I cannot 
get my life together. Um, but we did our big cook, and so we have a lot of meat prepped in the fridge, which is good. Um, I've had a pretty low eating day today because I've been busy, and then I was overwhelmed, so then I was scrolling on TikTok, which I shouldn't have been doing, but, you know, hey, I guess you, could, you do what you gotta do. And that one over there is absolutely wild. <laughs> And I still have my video I need to film for my Manjaro update week three. Um, I meant to do that on Friday and then I had too many drinks on Friday and couldn't function this weekend. So I didn't even post anything. Like I feel like such a freaking slacker. Like, hello, you need to be posting things on YouTube in order for people to look at them. <laughs> anyway. I hope you enjoy these vlogs. Um, I'm only uploading one vlog a week and it'll just be like a weekly recap. I started filming last week. I have to look back at the date. And I was gonna film when I was out with my friends and my husband for his birthday, but I completely forgot because I was, I was needing that break, you know, from reality. And it was the first time we cheated on our meal. I think I already talked about this. I'll have to re rewind the footage and look. But anyway, wish me luck because I'm a chronic procrastinator. I am. I really am. But man, I get shit done. When it needs to be done, I get it done. I pull in clutch at the end. So for now, I do really have to go because I have to go get my other daughter. And I was thinking about getting like a car mount for my phone so I can film while I'm driving. Because sometimes I like have a lot of thoughts that I need to say. And then I end up Snapchatting my friend and telling her all my thoughts. So there's that. Anyway, next time. Figure out where I can put you to be a little bit more discreet. But um, you remember how earlier today I said, this isn't gonna work, maybe it will. Anyway, earlier today I was talking about how crazy my day was and it just got a little bit more crazy. I went to go pick up my daughter from daycare and all of a sudden my bank called me and I was like, that's never a good thing when your bank calls you. <laughs> it's usually a bad thing when your bank calls you. So I answered the phone, I'm like, hello? And they said, hi, this is so-and-so from On Point. Were you at the ATM today? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I was. And she said, oh good, um, well, either you or maybe a friend of yours that you're with, we have your watch. My watch, my Samsung watch that I don't leave my house without because I like to count my steps has been at the bank all day. And this makes me really mad for two reasons because one, I was very active at work today. I walked around five acres of property. I ran back and forth to my car like 8 billion times. Like I'm a mess and I am not like this and I'm going, what in the hell is going on with me? Like, I'm so confused as to what is actually going on and why am I a mess? Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I just thought I would share that last little, and then you have people who can't drive. So as cherries on top of my crazy day, you also have people who cannot drive. It's great. It's a great time. Lord, please give me strength to get through this day. I just need to get home <clears throat> and do a workout. That's what I need to do. I need to get home and I need to go do a workout. Because I cannot do this anymore. I think it's the cold. I think I really sincerely believe it's the cold. The cold is messing with my emotions and how I operate in my life. That's the only thing I can think of, is that the cold is totally screwing me over. So, okay, that's that.
because I'm about to wash my face, but today was nuts. Like, I'm just now getting ready for bed. I look insane, and I'm exhausted. I don't know if, like, it's just because today was, like, chaotic, or if it's, like, I'm getting sick, or what the deal is, but, like, I'm beat. Like, completely exhausted to my core. And the bummer about being exhausted isn't just exhaustion in itself, but I have a small child who is going to wake up another two times. Maybe one if I'm lucky, but lately she's been going through this kick of like waking up two to three times during the night. Granted, she's four months old, so like I'm not really sleep training her like we kind of are starting the process like she has a good bedtime routine but we don't have like I'm not like forcing her to like do the whole cry it out thing like I'm just not there yet so plus again she's four months old so her doctor also said to like let her like have those moments I'm giving you all the terrible angles right now but like I'm exhausted <laughs> And I wish I knew exactly why I was so tired. Also, my cabinets are from the 80s and they're disgusting. So, don't judge me. All I know is I am ready for tomorrow. I'm going to film a video and hopefully post it. I've also reached out to one of my best friends to try and convince her to start a podcast with me. We've talked about it on and off for like over a year now, I think. Um, I want to say, and I think we're actually going to do it and I'm really excited because I think it would be really fun. I used to have a podcast, um, back in 2018, I think it was when I started it and it was so much fun and it was all real estate related stuff. Um, but it was a really good time and like I really miss podcasting. Um, I don't know why. It's one of my favorite things to do. Like that and like, I don't know, I'm kind of warming up to vlogging. <laughs> I like doing the like end of the day wrap ups. Um, and then just do like a voiceover on um, whatever it's called, shorts. That's kind of been like my thing. But lately I've just been, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling like stuck or anything because I've started vlogging, which I'm also really enjoying. I'm just like trying to get this whole vibe of like YouTube in general. I'm like, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Like, what am I doing? And not just like what am I doing per se, but like I enjoy doing multiple things, which is kind of my problem. Because I really have like 14 hobbies and I love all of them. I have to wash my face. Hold on. Also, about <sighs> not me exposing myself in my crazy bathroom. It's so old, it needs to be updated so badly. But we just aren't sure what we're doing with this house yet, so we haven't done anything uh, at all. In my hand, I don't know, I was cutting wood earlier, and I thought I had a splinter, but I think I just ripped a chunk of my skin out, so that's fun. But anyway, I just have like multiple things at once going on, and sometimes I feel like I don't have a direction, which I feel like is really common for people in general to go through that of like not knowing what their direction is exactly, but I don't know. This is my, me like taking my makeup off because I don't really wear a lot anymore these days. 
sometimes I do, but like for the most part, I don't. I really f fell in love with the, oh my gosh, what is this called? The Superstay foundation that like went viral. I love it. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, you totally should. So anyway, I just, I don't know. I just am kind of like dabbling in it all right now to figure out what I like the most and what I enjoy filming the most, what I enjoy doing in general the most. Um, when it comes to YouTube, like I definitely want to continue my weight loss series because that's something that's going to be like for the next year, but that's only one video a week and I really want to put more videos out. So I'm debating on what to do with these vlogs. I don't know if I should. I don't know. I think I'm going to just do like a weekly compilation of like all my crap and then like list the days at the top and call it good because I think that's all the energy that I have right now to like spend on vlogging. I mean it's a lot like and I was really bummed because we went to this place for my husband's dinner. Oh, I have to move. Oh, let me relocate myself. I'll have a toilet. We'll have a toilet talk if you will. So <laughs> Um, we went to this restaurant for my husband's birthday and our waiter was like actually crazy. She was so nuts. I'm pretty sure she was on drugs, like almost hundred percent sure. So I missed all of that, but oh well. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Today is now Tuesday, January 31st. And we're having ourselves another day. I had to deal with my preteen son who almost missed the bus because he just can't get his act together. A pharmacy telling me that a prescription that is normally $75, which is expensive, telling me it's 206 now. And the sample kits I need for a water sample um, are the wrong ones. So... That's how this day is going. It's just great. So I need to um, get my computer out. I need to check over some stuff. Um, I'm working on another project because I'm not busy enough, you know, um, that will hopefully be launching this March. We will see. Um, so I need to do that and I need to actually plan my week out because I haven't done that yet. So I will see you soon.